Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about line stabilization. Line stabilization in Rebel 4 has a couple significant improvements. We're going to go through all of the settings. We're going to undock the panel so we can bring this into the middle. And we're going to go through the very first option called Moving Average. So Moving Average, this is going to take the line as we draw it. And as we're drawing it, we're going to look at where the line was, where the line's going, and then pull those into a little bit tighter line. So essentially smoothing the position of the line. So if we bring this all the way over, we're going to introduce a little bit of lag in order to stabilize that line. If we bring it all the way to the left, we're going to get a line that has none of the line smoothing attached to it. So let's go ahead and look at this second one. This is pulled string and this one is brand new. So let's go ahead and let's clear this. And as I put the pen down and draw, we're not going to see anything because I have this turned at minimum. Uh, let's go ahead and put it all the way at maximum. Now, as soon as I put the pen tip down, what you're going to notice is this little string hangs underneath it. And the string has physics applied, which I think is very cool. And then here, as we pull, we can create these absolutely perfect lines with smooth blending and pressure. which is great if you're trying to do very, very detailed work, being able to do this pulled string version of line smoothing is awesome. And you can turn it off completely if you'd like. Uh, typically when you're drawing, if you draw quicker, it's going to smooth out that line a little bit based solely off of how Windows 10 handles ink. Now we can turn on pressure smoothing. Let's bring this back to moving average and put it over here at the fourth notch. And let's look at pressure smoothing. Let's clear the layer. All right, now using the ink pen to demonstrate, we're going to start with a little pressure, and then I'm going to add pressure, and we're going to see that the line goes from little to big based off of how hard we're pushing. Now, if I turn on pressure smoothing, bring this all the way over, I start small, and I go to large, what you'll see is that this has a very smooth ramp up from little to big. We bring this down, it's going to reflect more accurately how much pressure I'm pushing and it's not going to smooth that out for me. Now pressure sensitivity, now if you have this set to firm, that means you're going to have to press harder in order to draw that thick portion of the line. If you have this set to soft, with very soft or light pressure, you're going to get this full response as if you were pressing really hard with the pen. So if you have a heavy hand, you can put this over to firm. If you have a very light hand, you can bring this over to soft and just play with that. I like mine just about here. Here. Let's clear the layer. And again, just a reminder that in preferences, pen pressure smoothing and pen pressure sensitivity right here, these are the exact same settings. That means if I adjust it here, then when I close this, it's going to adjust it over here. It's the same setting in two different locations. All right, you guys, that's it for the tutorial online smoothing. Stay tuned for the next tutorial.